Savage. Stealthy. Deadly. Leopards are Africa's most elusive big cat. But one man and one extraordinary leopard have formed a lifelong bond and open a window into the world of these mysterious predators. This is leopard territory. 17,000 hectares of bush that is home to more than 20 of Africa's most enigmatic big cats. This leopard dynasty is the lifeblood of South Africa's Londolozi Game Reserve in the south of the Great Kruger National Park. The leopards here have been filmed and studied for almost three decades. Each cat is intimately known. And unlike most places, they are not shy of people. But there is one leopard that has taken her relationship with humans to a new level. And one man that has dedicated almost two decades of his life to filming her. John Vardy, or JV, has been following leopards since childhood. But his relationship with this one is different. He calls her Manana, Shangan for mother. And he shares a trust with her that is uncanny for her species. Okay, girlie. Most leopards are aggressive and unpredictable and will attack without warning. But JV is able to sit only meters from Manana, unharmed. Their extraordinary bond was made possible by an encounter more than a decade before Manana was born. The year is 1979. JV and his tracker, Elman Mlongu, are on the trail of a leopard. They've just started out as wildlife cameramen. And so far, the secret of cats have proved difficult to catch on camera. But today, they hit gold. A mother leopard and her cubs. Sightings like this usually last long enough for the mother to get her cubs out of sight. But not this time. This leopard allows them to watch her without concern. They name her the mother. And J.V. vows to document her life on camera. Over the next 12 years, she allows them to film every aspect of her life. The mother leopard is the first leopard that showed me that it was possible to have a relationship, a close relationship with the leopard. She unlocked the secret world of the leopard to me. But one night, JV watches as that world is torn apart. Lions pursue the mother after a kill. And she makes a deadly miscalculation. She hauls her carcass up a tree. But it's too low. Lions are too big to climb high. But the 150 kilogram killer gets into the low branches easily. <laughs> Corn.
cornered. The mother has no option but to meet her fate on the ground. At dawn, JV and Elman scour the mother's territory and find what they fear. Their leopard, brutally injured, dying. Her wounds cut to the bone. They watch as life slips from her torn body and their window into the world of leopards closes. J.V. and Elman try to follow other leopards, particularly the mother's daughter, named Tudwan Female. But Tugwan's nature is a far cry from her mother's. She's temperamental and aggressive, and they track her with extreme caution. So when they see her leave to hunt, they recognize a rare opportunity to get down to her den and see if she has cubs. What J.V. finds changes his life. A tiny female cub emerges from the den. It's Manana, ten days old. JV's window into the world of leopards opens once more. As a single parent, Tugwan must hunt, or she and the cubs will starve. So, in their first weeks of life, Manana and her brother are often left unguarded at the den. Lions and hyenas kill the offspring of other predators to eliminate the competition. And unguarded leopard cubs are soft targets. But the dense bush and cavernous rocks of the Tugwan riverbed protect this den like a fortress. Allowing Manana and her brother to hone their skills in relative safety. New creatures awaken their earliest hunting instincts. But it takes a little longer to grow into climbing. Practice makes perfect, and soon the trees become their preferred playground. And everything in them, fair game. Manana soon learns that tackling prey that bites and hisses is harder than it looks. She heads down after easier prey. As the cubs grow, 
so too will the size of their prey. Until at one year, they will be ready to catch full-grown antelope alone. As adults, the treetops of Lundalozi will become their domain. The dense woodlands are perfect leopard habitat, abounding with a diversity of prey. But with that prey comes other, larger predators. Manana learns early in her solitary adult life that catching prey is only the first hurdle. Keeping it is always a far tougher task. The death rattle of the impala goes up like a flag, alerting wandering hyenas to the kill. They'll stop at nothing for a free meal, and with a bite that can crack bone, they make deadly enemies. Manana is in mortal danger. Seconds after Manana makes the kill, spotted hyenas surround her. Alone and outnumbered, she can't afford to fight. The hyenas, on the other hand, can't help fighting. A strict hierarchy governs feeding. With so many mouths, underlings must be kept out by force. Soon, the feeding frenzy turns into a riot, allowing Manana to sneak in and steal back her carcass. This time, she hauls it out of reach before the hyenas know what's happened. eats her fill while she can. But hyenas are relentless. A scout remains to stake out the tree and wait for Manana to make a mistake. Leopards inevitably lose kills to predators. But when Manana bears her first litter, the stakes change. Predators are a constant, mortal threat to leopard cubs. Here in the Kruger National Park, they kill one in two infants. But even at only four years old, Manana proves to be an excellent mother. Her den sites are all but invisible. She moves the cubs every few days to keep the predators guessing. <laughs> <laughs> 